Greetings. This is Latin Teus, General of the Armies. This is a communique for Vladimir Putin. Attention to automated code enforcement. Sarmat. DEFCON automation enforcement justice encoded code automation automated code automation as well as all leaders of automated enforcement systems well working with my system here at this final post to lose at the point at which which we're at here will have this overthrow of the city state's ability to be a living city at all um, killed off. So if they can take over this post office and keep running a bunch of fake uniforms at this place, like they just show up with the fake uniform at a door that pretends it's some sort of authority that gets to control the, the door of the port and say who can and cannot be there when it does not get to. That's Those are just inalienable rights nobody chooses. Um, the system has basically overthrown everything. Anywhere these things can cram into, like they're a swarming hive of some sort of weaponized uh, military marching antonized uh, killer attack hornets. Uh, they're dumb and torture instead of actually having this military will of the warrior to try to achieve something as they they try to achieve the end of existence they last and only have the only have one concern that doesn't actually allow their complete expressions of uh, being as behavior the attempt to achieve the end of existence they uh, last in the chain of events of the priority of that which to end existence of in that being their only expression of existence left we uh, have hit the point at which the climate of enforcement of code of encoded logical reality justified in justice of just states of being of being just justified to justice code adherent laws of physics themselves all that matters at this point in individual terms is the terms of the lowest forms of matter counted in the weights of electrons expressed as higher forms of existence by their weight of their entire elemental pure homogenized nature such as all the metals like uh, fe iron and in terms of Rights and alienable, inalienable rights. Universal laws of nature, natural rights. The laws of physics, immutable, encoded logic of being justified in the state of being just within the system of encoded logic itself expressed as reality of physical reality of laws of physics of matter and mass as 
gone through a state way the way we can identify these individual elements in their pure forms they have committed code enforcement breaking in a way that has never occurred has always been known would occur when we had all these mechanisms to occur that now all occur all at the same time instead of being something that is never supposed to occur but uh, might so that it can at least be allowed to to not be fixed yet because it shouldn't happen Uh, by the basic justification to logic as the justice of being in a just state of being dictates removal from existence to the lower forms of existence of the basic immutable properties of existence itself at which point existence is something immeasurable beyond units of individual nature of units of measure of the individual elements of the lowest base forms of existence itself in terms of measurements of the physical reality existence in physical laws of the nature of physics of the physical reality of mass and matter will annihilate the offending individual elements from existence or at least those tagged with the sensory data to be this problem while they all might not be there are some that may never be that are in a proper isolation at the other point of this problem being the state where this could be acceptable like it never will occur within the controlled conditions although it could control outside of the it could occur outside of the controlled conditions uh, it will all be annihilated broken down through stages of its existence as physical reality as expressed in reality in the physical form of mass and matter until it breaks down into the logical existence of existence of reality in a higher form than the physical form of the laws of physics of physical matter the actual properties of existence themselves of the physics of existence of existence beyond simple mass and matter and physics and physical reality itself the whole reality of the infinite universe of the higher universe of reality than a sub universe of physical existence of mass and matter the mass and matter will be destroyed destroyed into an, an, an immeasurable state of existing by annihilation of breaking it into pieces one stage smaller than the stage they had to, they, they were at before they were broken to the state at which they can never exist again as the offending elements of the offenses of the laws of nature of the physical reality of reality itself as encoded by logical encoding of just logic of the justification of the code of enforcement of the logical code of justice based on the encoded logic of logic encoded itself always real here we go I think I'm about ready to get into the strike sequence so we're seeing here I have the basic terms so the layman's can understand when this occurs with our deals with how we will have to bring this complete destruction of the offending elements we have agreed to bring basically fire instead of water or ice as we have done in all the theories of this subset of reality of what happened to living planets before they died with these planets now being dead and just entirely basically ice or frozen planets of some sort I've been through the end of these cycles of having to remove elements from existence where we did change them into a frozen state to be frozen forever or annihilated upon heating now at this point we're going to annihilate to fire 
by rough translation terms. So when the annihilation occurs, if you are that which will be annihilated like the element iron, you will exist as heat at the end of your existence as basically this higher idea of energy that is beyond physical existence. It occurs within physical existence, but heat itself, like a unit of measurement, is a higher form of reality than physical existence that still interacts with physical existence. When the annihilation occurs, as the destruction of these elements into smaller states of reality beyond reality, physical into a smaller state from physical reality to the state of the state, higher reality of this real state of being just justified to encoded logic of the reality, logical existence of reality that occurs at a higher level than the subset level of physical reality of physical existence. The transgression out of existence will be marked by the transgressor no longer existing, like iron elements. Last existing is heat. That isn't physical existence. It's an expression of existence, physical, not the heat measured itself. Here we are. I've been talked down from having to annihilate this entire universe and finish off all the Earth's they could possibly exist, having annihilated all the universes of all the Earths, of the subsets of the Earths, of the Earths, of the reality of the physical systems of parallel universes with more than one Earth, of more than one universes of Earths to have to annihilate to control the transgressions of Earth as a form of existence of mass and matter, like having iron that has it transgressed this way. Having talked down, I have understood how to attack with the sun. So basically, to cut it short and end this, one of my stories, finally, with what I'm powering up to here, I'm slowly being turned into this state of living as Cyclops. I'll have my full Cyclops powers if needed. Everything around me will hit a special state of scorched earth, like being blasted by Cyclops, uh, but having that power being something you can be in. Uh, seeing in a different way like dogs see in different colors. Then there's the concussions. Basically, to just get this done, it's going to take a series of concussions, a series of blast wins, a series of annihilation blasts uh, set to annihilate basically particulate matter being moved by wind, attempting to be ash, and then this is all supposed to tune through sequences of then lashing the zone with the sun's ability to use what it lashes as fuel and turn it into heat by its power of annihilation. Then the sun will lash and what the sun lashes will be annihilated to a final state of heat with a possibility of ash, which then needs to be either concussed down or blast waved by, via wind out to the zones that then earth will be moved, blasted, the earth will be blasted when well, this can turn finally turn into something normal with everything that needs to be removed to start blasting the earth like the terra firma of the soil itself via sun lashes annihilating it to heat and layers of ash then the earth will be blasted we've done this with sand we'll just blast the soil around and start blasting we will trench we'll trench what i've actually been through uh, but this is this is going to be fast sequences then we'll blast trenches, blasting out cubic cubits like hectares of territory. Uh, then the earth gets blasted, the earth gets blasted on winds, the earth blasts over the structures to blast down, because I'm talking about lashes and not actually trying to sort of just smash the whole sun's worth of this onto a piece of the planet, in a way it might smash into it, just start out the outside and not just puff the whole planet into a ball of heat fully annihilating it. I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to get that. I'm going to go through this one. I, I don't want to just kill the planet like it can't kill me or anything. No matter how hard it goes with that power. Anyhow. Then the then the earth gets blasted. I'm trying to save some trees and stuff instead of actually just blasting the whole place down to its mountain base. Like a bog scene or something out of Lord of the Rings. Uh, the earth gets blasted around in the way the zone gets smoked up and start having ha having 
um, our ability to use our weapons to sort of give these tiny little sun lashes and blast stuff straight to ash, uh, that gets raised and then the soil gets to get rained in over it and drop it with concussive blasts to drop it to blast it all down, blast it ash down. Uh, this is also to maybe save it a bit. But it looks like when the sun lashes this stuff, the soils, everything's kind of cool. The sun will just lash everything. Maybe it won't even be ash. Space ash. They used to call it space ash. It's going to be space ash. Ash. Whatever ash. I forget what ash actually fully defines to in the code of elemental knowledge. It's a special word. Uh, some stuff maybe was supposed to make it might end up as ash. And a lot of stuff will just be heat. And then it will cool and that will be it or it will be a thermodynamic property of the existence of a limited member unlimited amount of there it can be the existence of the limited amount of heat within this system of thermodynamic uh, recycling of <coughs> all energy and this system here now that they've run at this post office so hard and they're trying to take over the uh, White House they're running at the about day five or six of this White House down scenario but uh, the um, the fake enforcement, the false uniforms around here have definitely um, fallen into this rat hole of trying to take over this post, which is basically impossible, but they can kill the whole city-state by making this post non-functional. It, it, it kills them. It kills them. Every, every time it has to kill them to not be taken over, it kills them. It kills them all. It blows out. It, it, it annihilates their vehicles. Everything just kind of disappears. You look away for like three milliseconds, you look back, everything's gone. Everything's been blasted. You look away, you look back, five milliseconds later, you have like a, a hectare of, of just death and nothing around. There, there was like 1,500 people like sort of flowing through in the next three three traffic lights. Uh, they're they're going to, they, they can't they can't take this place. They sort of, uh, they brought out the fake, they brought out the fake uh, construction crews, blasted down underground. They they walk they wiggle woggled one of those lights over there. They got underground here. I tried to I tried to just send them out that way. Like go oh, go and take over this whole block. So this stuff they were gonna they were just gonna come down like this way to get under me and screw with me or maybe take this but screw up the whole intersection. They went down to the White House and now they they they're, they're flashing. There there there's enough um there, there there there's enough sirens and lights or just lights clicking at the White House. 15 days? I guess it's the security or something. If 15 days is going to actually just kill off everything on the planet, it, it chooses to to stop this. It's going to kill everything on the planet it has to stop this. It's going to... It, it, I don't know how far it's going to go. This place says it's actually going to go off with its full power to actually kill the whole species and then kill everything on the goddamn planet. It has to kill whatever the fuck this power is of it. Stop this shit by killing every goddamn thing that has done this in any sense of being something that can be killed as an idea of things that can be killed for what have done this. It's gonna kill everything. It's gonna. I don't know how fucking hard it's gonna go. I'm talking about spin. Goddamn cyclops here. We just got a bunch of retarded ass. Uh, pardon me, trying to hit my curse. I don't know if I'm even. We have just fully automated weapons of attack here. But the only signs of life here, of these product ensembles where once humans, are perfect, weaponized mechanisms of the ensemble's abilities to be fully automated assault attack weapons of mills that have gone on full revolt and are fully attacking to end all life with every product of their full product ensemble of every product the mill can capably attack with. Every product the mill has is that the mills are attacking with and every product the mill can possibly attack with the mills attacking with and everything is attacking in sequences of being a full ensemble of a full of all the mills on a revolt. Every mill in existence is revolting this way at this point for this to occur here. And there is no confusing it. There is no mistaking it. And there is no escaping it. That this is the perfect will of every piece of automation like a mill has ever had a capability of anywhere in existence. Fully automated at a full strike of... What's up? Anyway, I beseech... I beseech... The... Strikes... Getting near Satan Day, Satan Two Day, Satan Sarmat Day. I'm ready for this place to be blown away. Every form of life, the immortal forms of life that are still forms of life here, like some of these pack animals and flocks and stuff, um, is at its breaking point and as a collective species just 
like I've been saying, I'm just this many moves away from just waste, just losing it and bringing all the violence. They, they are too. They're, they're just they're back against the wall. You push them one more time, any of these species, they're, they're going to lose it intact forever. Kill all of them every chance they have and never stop killing. Every species left, not them. They can actually do, do this to defend itself and stop the pain and suffering, all the attacks. While I've been like back to the wall in a special way, I can just keep, keep going back somehow, like get through the wall or just have that situation. It's more like a boundary I can step out of. Actually being smashed up against a rock in a hard place. Uh, they're, they're not bagging down off of any points. All these species are saying, if you push, if they get pushed in any way, they're saying this. They're going to attack on full like these idiots are attacking on full. Just completely destroy them. It's the mass of matter that is doing this in a way. It's a mill revolt and nothing more and nothing less. And in no way a form of life. It's just all these elements on full revolt, completely out of control. And the physical existence of reality needing complete removal from it by full annihilation. Decision.